Utah also expected to get a taste of the storm. People going through Zion National Park should get ready for winter driving conditions. Right now, a winter weather advisory is in effect for Zion Mount Carmel Highway, which runs through the park. Zion estimates it will get anywhere from four to nine inches of snow in certain areas. So if you're planning on visiting the park this weekend, rangers ask that you check current conditions before you head out. And after a series of crash incidents on Utah highways involving semi trucks, troopers want to warn drivers of the dangers and how to stay safe during winter weather. ABC 4's Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Bertadero went on a ride along with a trooper in Washington County today and has that story. It's snowy and wet conditions like this that can be dangerous for drivers. I would say go like 10 under the speed limit. 10 always serves me well. It's a Cedar 318. I'm go for Trooper Grant Hinsey with the Utah Highway Patrol says he's noticed an uptick with semi truck involved incidents, some being deadly. We just want people to be out there to be safe, be aware, watch out for the trucks, just know what lanes that they're supposed to be in, but always just be looking in your front side and back mirrors and kind of just be planning from for the worst, but hoping for the best. In fog like this, he says you should always have your headlights on. And in conditions like this, as it's getting foggy, they might not see you, so you always have to play defensive. Hinsey says you should also avoid driving directly behind a truck. Especially with semi trucks. Um, they sometimes have to stop very suddenly. Their blind spot back here is way further back. If you can't see their mirrors, they can't see you. So you want to keep a pretty good distance. Avoid jerking your wheel if something catches you by surprise. And when passing semis, be mindful of your speed, especially in these conditions. In like an 80 mile per hour zone, if you feel like you need to pass them at 90 safely, that's not wise because now you're putting yourself and them at risk because as you increase your speed, you're decreasing the time that you have to react to like a hazard in the road or somebody in front of you. Hinsey says when roads are wet, it's best to let off the gas and slow down. Just stick to the right lane if you feel safer going below the speed limit. Reporting in Washington County, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.